Hey guys, and welcome back to another Pokemon Go video. In today's video, I wanted to talk about the new update. Okay, we have trading coming to Pokemon Go. And a few other things coming along with that update. So, I'm on the Pokemon Go Live website. You can see the event. Um, the newest update there is Make Way for Friends, Trading, and Gifting in Pokemon Go. So, let's check it out. This is the newest update coming later this week. It should start coming and um, being available for you to down to upgrade, update your game to. It says make way for friends, trading, and gifting in Pokemon Go. So there's going to be basically these, they're bringing us new ways to interact with each other through Pokemon Go. There's going to be a friends feature, um, which basically you can start a list of friends that you meet that are um, in Pokemon and it's got some cool features with that we'll see in a minute and that's it says later this week we'll be able to do that so you can connect with your friends through Pokemon Go and you'll be able to send them items earn bonuses and trade Pokemon to them so big stuff coming really big stuff um, it says what you have to do to order add a friend you have to have their trainer code so I'm guessing once this update comes we'll all get our own trainer codes and you can choose to share that with someone or not share that with someone so they have to have your trainer code so I'm guessing it's gonna be different from your trainer name that way they can't just add you if they know your name or they've seen your name in a gym somewhere they have to you have to have to um, give them your specific trainer code so that's nice because then you can like not be you know getting a lot of friend requests from people you don't know or don't want to really be friends with in Pokemon Go. You can you can only share your trainer code with those that you trust. And so if they accept it, then you'll become friends and it says looks here we have a me, you have you and your Pokemon buddy so that's the same, but they've added a friends tab. So you can go to the friends tab and see your friends list that you've that you've added and the friends that have accepted you and there's like different levels of how good of friends you are like how I guess it depends on how much you interact with that friend and you can build your friendship and that can lead to more bonuses so that's pretty cool and um, when you spin a Pokestop or gym you can get a special gift that you're not gonna be able to open that gift yourself it sounds like it says you can't open the gifts you receive from a Pokestop, but you can send them to the friend. So if you receive this gift here, in this little gift box, you can't open it yourself, but you can send it to a friend to open. And it's going to have things like, um, it's also going to include a, a just helpful items. So you, it may be think, just normal things you might get from a Pokestop. I'm assuming, you know, Pokeballs, potions, that kind of thing. But can, it can also contain special gifts, like um, one thing it mentions in at an egg that contains an Alolan form Pokemon. So this might be a way we get some of the Alolans throughout, this, throughout the summer, as summer continues, getting these gifts. So it kind of stinks then that you can't open it yourself. <laughs> so, but it should be fun. Sounds like a cool idea, and also each gift has like a postcard to show, um, you know, where the gift came from. So it has a little postcard with the Pokestop or gym you got it from. So that's a cool little addition. And there's a picture, just some pictures here of what that looks like. So this looks like um, the screen where you would choose who you're going to send the gift to, and then um, which gift you want to send them. And so you see the different postcards, and then they get the gift. When you're ready, you can send it to them, and they can get, they get it, and they get to open it. So pretty cool. Um, it says, when you send a gift to a friend or participate in a raid or gym battle, you can increase friendship levels. So this is what, it was talking, what I was talking about. There's like, uh, you start off, I guess, as like good friends. It kind of reminds me of The Sims game. If you've ever played like this, any of The Sims game, anytime you start a relationship with some, with one of the characters in the game, you have to build the friendship. So it's kind of like that. You have to build your friendship within the game um, by interacting with that friend. So sending, you know, battling with them, and playing together, 
can help you to level up the friendship and it actually will help you to do better trading I think and um, increases bonuses and stuff it says you can only increase your friendship level once per day per friend so if you've already like incre done something to increase your level with that friend you can't do it again till the next day so um, let's see so that's just kinda and it shows you here you can have good friends these are kinda like the levels great friends it shows you the rewards you can get um, like what you can do at those different levels what you can do with a good friend is trade all your Pokemon except your mythical so like Mew and Celebi when we get Celebi you won't be able to trade those but you can trade the legendaries, you can trade shinies, um, and then great friend, you can continue trade, and you get a stardust discount, because it said it was going to cost you stardust to be able to trade. So the more you interact with a friend, the less stardust it'll cost to trade Pokemon with them. And you also get rewards for battling with them. And then there's ultra friend, you get extra premier balls in a raid battle. Um, and then the last tier is the best friend. You get the most Stardust discount and the most rewards there for interacting and doing things with a best friend. Um, you can also build friendship levels by trading. You have to be a level 10 or higher to be able to trade Pokemon. Um, you can earn bonus candy for trading away that Pokemon. So if you trade, um, like in the screenshot, I have a Pikachu and a Squirtle. So if I traded my Pikachu... I would earn bonus candy for Pikachu, is what I'm assuming they're meaning. Um, let's see. Um, it says, yes, the trades are powered by Stardust. Some will require more trades than others. So, um, they have some pictures of that to show you kind of the difference of the Stardust cost. You have to be, here's the bummer that I think, you have to be near your friend to trade with them. So here's like the little in-game tutorial that you'll see. You have to be near each other. But here's my thought. Since we're all out here spoofing, you know, we're a part of the spoofer community. You guys that are watching know I, I do spoofing. <laughs> I'm wondering if you're in the same location in this within the spoofing app, you know, because we go and we can raid together in the spoof as we spoof. So I'm wondering if we're in the same location at the same time that we if we'll still be able to trade. That's something that's I'm kind of curious about as far as like the spoofing community goes. It's like, will we actually be able to still do this within the game? Because technically when you're spoofing, the game still thinks you're in a certain area. So if you're there and you've got a friend that lives in another country, but you can't really meet face to face, I'm wondering if you can use, if spoofing will work for trading. That's something we may just have to wait and see when the updates come out and, um, once the guys that work on these these hacked versions, once they get it figured out, you know, we'll have to just see how that's going to work. As otherwise, it sounds like you might not be able to trade with anybody unless you're right there standing next to them. But we'll just have to see how that works out with the spoofing. And then um, it talks about the Stardust levels that you need. And um, so if you're going to trade Legendaries or Shiny Pokemon, those are going to be special trades. And you can only do those once a day. It's probably that's probably pretty good. I mean, you don't want to get carried away and trade them all away for anything, or like um, get your, you know. I guess they don't want people to like overpower their account with all the shinies or um, legendaries. So you can only make that special trade once a day. And um, let's see, you can get it talks about the candy bonus for trading. Um, you can see the range. It just talks about the CP and health points um, when you're trading. So it's going to give you a little in-game tutorial too. So that's good. Um, certain Pokemon like Legendary and Shiny or, or, or Pokemon not in your Pokedex. Those are going to be your special trades. So those are the three types of special trades. A Legendary, a Shiny, or something you don't have in your Pokedex. Okay. And they can only occur with a great friend or a best friend. So you can't trade those types of Pokemon until you level up your friendship with somebody. Um, so here's some pictures just of what the trading will look like in-game. So here's you're selecting, I guess, your Pokemon you want to trade. 
Then it shows you the trading screen. You're trading with this person, and they're trading with Squirtle, and it tells you it's going to cost you 100 Stardust to do this trade. So that's what they call a normal trade. Here's the <laughs> special trade. And to trade legendaries, it is a million Stardust. <laughs> that's a lot of Stardust. That's crazy. Oh, man. And let's see. And it has another picture of if you're trading with a... Uh, a best friend so once you've leveled up your friendship it's gonna still cost you a chunk of stardust but you can see it goes from a million stardust to 40,000 stardust to do that kind of trade with a, to do a, this special trade now we I don't know what it's gonna be like for shinies they don't have an example of that here so this but this just kinda gives you an idea that special trades are gonna cost you a lot of stardust so get out there and find those star pieces and that's just kind of where it ends. It says, you know, get out there, discover Pokemon with friends, stay safe, happy, and happy exploring. So that's pretty much it. This looks like a pretty cool update. Again, we're just going to have to kind of wait until it actually comes out and people get to start playing it a little bit and see how it works in-game. So, But this gives you an idea of my, what it's going to look like, um, kind of what to expect. So it should be pretty fun. I'm excited. You guys excited? Leave a like if you're excited for trading. Um, leave me a comment down below. Give me your thoughts on trading in this new update. Um, what are some Pokemon you want to trade or you hope to get from trading with friends? So, anyway, that will be the video for today. Um, and I'll see you guys next time. Alright, bye.